Hello, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Let us now begin with a prayer to the Holy Ghost, asking for wisdom, discernment, and guidance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Let us pray. God our Father, pour out the gifts of your Holy Spirit onto the world. You sent the Holy Spirit over your church to begin the teaching of the Gospel. Now let the Spirit continue to work in the world through the hearts of all who believe. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we would like to share with you a message of our Lord to Valentina Papania on January 24, 2022. Valentina recounts, While I was praying for what had happened in Tonga, our Lord came and said, Perhaps you would like to bring this message forward again so people can contemplate and remind them and pray as this is very serious. Ancient Plugs at the Bottom of the Sea A Message of October 13th, 2018 During my morning prayers, I was visited by five angels, one of which was Holy Michael. They said, We have been sent by our Lord to reveal something to you that you do not know about. You saw our Lord, and how sad He is for the world and all humanity, with their hearts so cold and unwilling to change. Today we come to show you the deepest part of the world in the deepest sea. Come closer and we will show you. I moved closer and in front of me appeared a large glass screen through which I could see the bottom of the sea. It was so real. The vision was crystal clear. Then one of the angels held a smaller transparent screen over the large one and instructed me to look through it. As I did so, I could see that it magnified every detail that was at the bottom of the sea. I could see how the wave motion of the water stirred the sediment on the seabed to create an underwater dust cloud. The angel said, No human eye has ever seen what I am about to show you. As the dust cloud settled on the seafloor, I could clearly see what looked like a round cement slab, less than half a meter in diameter. The more I observed, I could see there were many of these round slabs on the seafloor. They were all identical. The angel said, See, these plugs that we are showing you, they are very ancient. They have been here since the beginning of creation. There are many of them throughout the world. Soon we will have permission to unplug them, because God will give us the commandment to do so. When we open them, the world will experience many volcanic eruptions, fires, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Soon there will be severe suffering in the world if people do not repent and convert. The angel was very stern with me and said, You have to speak the truth to people. Do not feel sorry for them. If it is the will of God, it will happen. God has been warning people and they do not listen. The angel's manner was severe as he said, Come and have a look at this again. This is serious and this is real. I looked again and it upset me very much because I knew what was beneath these plugs. I felt very uneasy in the presence of the angels as they admonished me and said, You need to speak the truth to people and not just speak to them of beautiful things and cover up reality. Dear Lord, may the world listen to your holy word, and may they listen to your warnings and repent of their sins. May they stop offending you. This is the end of the message. Brothers and sisters, let us answer our Heavenly Mother's request to share Heaven's messages far and wide. Please share, like, subscribe, and click on the little bell so that you may be notified of the latest Heavenly messages as they come in. And finally, Pope Francis has appealed for prayers. Please join us in praying for the Holy Father and for a deep conversion of leaders in every capacity, including in government, 
in the church, in business and in the family, that they may seek the divine will in all things and have the conviction to fulfill it. Please click on our channel's 24-7 prayer room titled Rosary of the Seven Sorrows of Mary in Reparation to the Sacred Hearts. May God bless you and keep you.